Hi, I'm Dr. Tara Polak, physiotherapist. I'm here today to talk about the proper setup for your workstation so that it's ergonomically correct. We want to make sure our sitting posture and everything on our desk that we might be using throughout the day is ergonomically correct so that we can avoid strain on our muscles, our tendons, and our joints, and it helps prevent injury. Let's go over our chair setup first. You want your seat to be adjustable. You should have the height of the seat pan be able to go up and down so that your feet can be completely flat on the floor. You don't want to have your heels up or have your feet too far away or even have your feet dangling throughout the day. If the chair is not adjustable enough, you can always use a footrest on the floor to bring your feet up to some support. You also want to look for a chair that has some back support. My desk chair has a nice lumbar curve here. So while I'm sitting all the way back, it's filling in that nice natural curve for some lumbar support. If your back doesn't have any lumbar support, you can always roll up a towel, put some tape or rubber bands around it. You can also purchase an actual lumbar support and then put it back behind you, nice and low across the low back. So it pushes the pelvis forward and maintains that nice curvature in your low back. You also want to make sure that there's space between the back of your knees and the seat. We have blood vessels and nerves that run through the back of our knee, and if they're compressed throughout the day, it could cause numbness or tingling or some discomfort in the lower legs, and we don't want that. My chair does not have any armrests, and it allows me to get nice and close to the proper position I need to be on my keyboard. If your armrests are in the way and they're not allowing you to get to the point that you need to be for comfort to reach your keyboard, you can always drop the armrests or remove them completely. As far as sitting goes, you want to sit tall on what we call the sit bones. So in your pelvis, there's two bones that we sit on. And when you sit on those, it maintains a nice natural curvature of the spine. When you sit tall on those sit bones, you should notice that your ear is in line with your shoulder. If you are slouched when you sit, so if I were to sacral sit or slide back on my tailbone, you see how I have a C curve in my back. Those nice natural curves are now gone. My head is thrown forward. My shoulders are rounded forward. And this is very poor posture. It could end up to where I feel pain towards the middle or the end of my day if I continue to sit like this. So make sure you sit up tall on those sit bones, slide all the way back against your back support, and make sure you have space between your seat pan and your knees. Now let's talk about your keyboard and your mouse on your desk. Your keyboard should be close to the edge of your desk so that you can access it very easily and not have to reach over your desk. The keyboard should be at elbow height. So as I have my fingers floating over the keys, I'm looking down and I see that my wrist and my elbow are about at the same level. My wrist is slightly lower than my elbow and that is okay. What you don't want to do is have your wrists higher than your elbow. That will put too much strain on the wrists. If your keyboard has the ability to be propped up at an angle, we don't want to do that. We want it to be as flat as possible. You also want your mouse fairly close to your keyboard and at the same level as your keyboard. If your mouse allows, you can switch to your non-dominant hand throughout the day. So you're using your mouse with both hands and that helps to disperse the stress between the two hands. As far as items on your desk goes, you want your frequently used items right around here. As I fan my arms with my elbows next to my body, this is where I want my frequently used items. So I would set my water bottle here and have my documents close by. If I were to stretch my arms out straight and wave my arms around my desk, this is where my less frequently used items are. Maybe my box of Kleenex or something like that. Now let's talk about the work surface. You want your monitor about one arm's length away from you. So as you sit with your tall posture, reach out and your fingertips should just be right at the monitor. You can adjust this by moving the monitor forward or back on the desk. The top of the monitor should be just below eye level as you sit in your tall posture. Your chin should be neutral. You shouldn't have to look up at your monitor or look down. That's gonna put a lot of stress and strain on the neck. 
The monitor should be free from glare. You can use an anti-glare screen, have a window nearby, or adjust your overhead lighting. You want to have a light for any documents that you might be reading. You want the light on the right side if you're left-handed, and you want the light on the left side if you're right-handed. Now let's talk about just some miscellaneous items. You should take breaks from sitting at your computer every 60 minutes. I like to say you need to break for about 10 minutes every hour. You can set a timer to help remind you of this. You should stand, walk to the water fountain, do some stretching. You also need to rest your eyes from looking at the computer monitor. I say every 30 minutes, you want to look away from your monitor, maybe at a picture on the wall or look out the window, and just kind of focus in on something else other than your monitor. If you're frequently on the phone, try and use a headset or be on the speaker phone. You don't want to cradle a phone between your ear and your shoulder. This puts too much strain on the neck. If you're typing from using documents, you want to consider using a document holder or an angled board so that you can see your documents easily. If you frequently use a laptop, consider using a docking station that has an external keyboard and a larger monitor for you to look at. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully these tips help you set up your desk in a more neutral position so that you feel less fatigue and stress during the day.